एस चांद प्रेजेंट एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम हाई इन आर प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ सॉर्टिंग वी हैव डन द मर्ज सॉर्ट नाउ इन दिस पार्ट यू स्टडी अबाउट द क्विक सॉर्ट सो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मर्ज सॉर्ट एंड क्विक सॉर्ट बोथ आर बेस्ड ऑन द डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर स्ट्रेटेजी आई एम डॉक्टर श्रीयश अत्री एंड दीज आर द सम गुड बुक्स फ्रॉम द एस चांद पब्लिशिंग अगेन it is written here it is mentioned again it is mentioned here it is based on the divide and conquer strategy now partitioning is the key process the most important process of the quick sort is partitioning how we are doing the partition so the partitioning process is moving around the pivot number now what is the pivot number the meaning of pivot is central point the meaning of central point is that number on which whole sorting process will revolve that is called the pivot point that pivot point can be any number that can be a first number that pivot number can be a last the or middle of the number or middle of the array or any number okay the pivot number is your choice so the once desired position of the pivot number is identified then the number lesser than the pivot point are placed before it and the greater number are after the pivot point point to be noted if you need we need to select the any pivot number here now we have to uh, uh, we now we need to now we need to put that pivot number on the desired position so that the number which are lesser than the pivot number should come before it and the greater number should come after the pivot number so here is a process the quick sort is having various versions and because of this non selection of uh, it is a random selection of pivot number so we are having the various versions of quick sort so uh, the number one is if we take the first number as a pivot number then we are having the changes in our algorithm if we are having the last number take any random number as a pivot number or take median element as a pivot number so we need to divide this whole array based on the pivot number okay so i am explaining this topic using the concept if i am taking the pivot number is 10 the first element i am taking as a pivot number so so my pivot number right now here is 10 the first element okay now we need to place uh, this pivot number in that desired position so where uh, the numbers lesser than the 10 should come in the left side and the numbers which are greater than the 10 should come on the right side now first of all we need to find out the actual position of the pivot point so for that we can say let's suppose this is p this is q or you can say this is start this is end this is low this is high i am taking as a p and q okay so we must uh, check here that if this pivot point is lesser than or equal to the value of this particular index if it is happening then we then we need to increase the p by 1 okay and where the p should stop the p will stop when the number will come which is greater than the a uh, pivot point so you can note down this now how this q will uh, decrease now this the meaning of q is because this particular part the right part is should be the greater than the pivot point so all the values the values which are greater than the pivot point that should come on the right side now if we see that 7 is greater than pivot point so value 7 is greater than equal to pivot point no it is not greater than then we will increase by 1 or increase not we then we will decrease by 1 okay and that decrement will come until unless we are not uh, getting the number which is greater than the 
10. So, this process uh, with the help of this increment and decrement, we, we this process is happening so that we can easily identify the pivot point. So, let us begin with it. Uh, the first condition here is my value should be lesser than equal to the pivot and second condition is my value should be greater than pivot ok. Now see this if this happens then we need to do the p plus plus if this happens if this happens then we need to do the q minus minus ok. Let us begin with this. Now we are finding this is the value 10 is greater than equal to p yes then p plus plus again 5 is lesser than equal to the pivot yes 2 is greater than uh, 2 is lesser than equal to the 10 yes because my pivot point is 10 my pivot point is my pivot point is 10 here then again 6 is lesser than yes 1 is yes 9 is yes and 7 is yes that means we have reached at the end of the uh, this array and now this p and q are together got it so it means now we are end so this and we uh, and still this number is lesser than the pivot point so what we need to do we need to swap this number with the pivot point ok. So, my new array will become like that 7, 5, 2, 6, 1, 9 and 10 ok. So, my p is here and q is also here. Similarly, you can see value is greater than pivot, 7 is greater than pivot, no. So, there is no q minus minus. 9 is greater than pivot, no there is no q minus minus. So, my q remains here. So, when both the position come here and this is the end of the list, then we have to swap the element which is at the position q with the first element where this position uh, with the pivot point, not the first element, we need to swap the q with the pivot point. Okay. Now, this is the shuffling of pivot now we can easily identify that all the elements because the pivot was the highest element here so all the elements lesser than the pivot point are now on the left side so this is called the uh, you can say pass 1 okay now in pass 2 again we need to select the different pivot point this is already sorted so there is no need to sort it now in this particular array 7, 5, 2, 6, 1 and 9. Again we need to select the pivot point, new pivot point and let us suppose I am selecting here this 7 as a pivot point and following this particular rule then we need to check it. So, let us suppose now my pivot here is 7. Now value here on the first index is 7. 7 is greater than equal to pivot yes this is p and this is pivot so we need to my p should be moved forward here again 2 is greater than uh, 2 is smaller than equal to pivot yes 6 is smaller than equal to pivot yes condition is true 1 is smaller than equal to pivot yes condition is true again 9 is smaller than equal to con con condition is false so my p is here and q is here ok. Now again check with the help of this 9 is greater than equal to pivot yes now q minus minus so now q will come here again check 1 is greater than equal to pivot no condition is false so q will not increase more. Now this is the point now we will swap this particular point with the pivot element ok. So again my new array will become 1, 7, 5, 2, 6 and 9. And this 10 is coming here along with this. 
okay now these two numbers are in a sorted position again we need to sort in this manner so this is how the quick sort happens let's understand this concept in a coding the coding shows here this is a partitioning function we are partitioning uh, here just understand that we are partitioning this whole array with the help of pivot okay so if the pivot comes between uh, let, let uh, if the pivot comes because here the 10 is the largest element so that's why uh, there is no more elements another, uh, other than this so uh, that's why you are saying that every elements are on the left side okay so let's understand the concept here with the help of partitioning now first condition is if first is so now in in partition method what happens first this whole array goes here this whole array is inserted here then int first int last so this is the first and last is 6 ok again first is less than equal to 0 is less than equal to 6 yes then we need to initialize the pivot point my pivot point is 10 so first is my pivot point ok i equal to first and j equal to first so this first location is my pivot point here the meaning of first is location while i is less than j that means 0 is less than 6 list of i that means this is the list list array list of i list of 0 is 10 10 is less than equal to list of pivot pivot is again the value of pivot is 0 here this is 10 and i is less than equal to last yes condition is true then we need to do i plus plus so if this is i okay then this is i plus plus okay then again go here the condition will go here i plus plus i becomes 1 1 is again less than equal to 6 condition is true so i list of 1 5 5 is less than equal to pivot 10 yes condition is true so this will happen and my i will goes increasing until unless the condition becomes false ok so when the condition becomes false then we move towards the while part now in this second while part in the second while loop list of j j is 6 so list of 6 is 7 7 is greater than list of pivot ok list of pivot means this 10 6 is greater than 10 condition is false so there is no need to do the decrement of j so j remains here and i is here now i and j are on the same position if i is less than j that means i is on the 6 and j is also on the 6 so condition is false ok then we know we will not go in, uh, inside this if condition now we will now we are coming out from the uh, uh, this particular loop ok again when we come out from here we are checking when we come out from this particular loop again while loop this swapping condition come here so here we are going to swap what we are going to swap list of pivot equal to temp we are putting the list of pivot that means 10 we are putting into the temp temp equal to 10 ok then list of pivot equal to list of j that means list of pivot 0 in, in the 0th location of this we have inserted list of j that means 7 so list of pivot that means 0th location we have inserted 7 and list of j list of j is 6 so on the 6th location that is the 6th location we have inserted the 10 so this is called the swapping ok uh, after this again we need to check it out first is less than last again the value of first is 0 and the value of last is what the value of last is 6 and this process will go on until unless all the elements are not partitioned and sorted together so this is the whole quick sort function here this is the main function and this is the partition function this is partition this is the, the partition function the name of the function is or parameter 
or okay so partition int 10 int int so these are the three parameters of this partition function this is the prototype inside the main again we are entering the size of our array and one by one we are inserting all the elements of the array and now we are calling the function partition here now the control goes here and inside this whole the partitioning process and sorting process take place okay when this whole process take place after that my control again goes here and uh, my this particular list update updates and we are again printing the sorted list in a print function okay so this is all about the quick sort algorithm i hope the concept of this particular concept this particular concept of quick sort is clear to you so this was all about the sorting using the recursion concept uh, in which we have studied about the merge sorting and quick sort in which a uh, one partitioning function is calling itself until unless the whole process is not completed so this is all about the uh, sorting techniques merge sort quick sort using the recursion and these are the some good books from the s chand publishing i hope you are liking this video so please do subscribe like and share thank you all rights reserved This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.